What is up guys? My name is Spike Midori, otherwise known as the Friends of Darkest. Now I may sound a little loopy and or a little tired, but that's just because it's about 1 in the morning right now and I have been recording videos all night. Um, mostly unboxings. The last two I did was for Arliss Feral and Hell's Pegatrix Ultra from Marvel Alliance. So we are moving on to the other Bakugan that I had bought in my Bakugan hunting video I did a while back which is Core Aquas Hydrus. This thing broken as all heck. If you can make it land on a helix, this thing gets high numbers. And that's what I'm excited about, because I versed one other person who's used this against me, and oh my goodness. When this thing lands at a good, uh, good helix, the enemy is as good as dead. Unless they have something they can stop the Bakugan with or get a reroll on a particular core, they're pretty much as good as done. So, Moving on to the actual unboxing part of this, let's -a go! Bada bing, bada boom, just like the last two times, bam, there it be! Okay, camera, can you please just focus for me? That would be awesome if you could, there we go, thank you, you still didn't focus, oh my goodness! Okay, wait, mm, there, Put that up, kind of a little bit. But you know what, why am I even focusing? We're going to be tearing into the packaging in the next, like, two seconds. <sighs> Again, sorry if this may seem rushed. I'm kind of just wanting to get them all open and start making decks with them. But I also want to make you guys have something to watch. So, enough of my bibble babbling. Because, honestly, I think that's just the tiredness talking. You know, the fact that I've been up now, what time is it? It's like, I know it's past 12, I think. I can't remember, but I know it's like really late. My clock's broken. I'm standing, I'm sitting here complaining while I'm opening Bakugan. You know what, it's, it's, it's funny times all around when I record this late. So, Gay Trainer, Shun Kasami. Looking smug as all heck, and he should because Aquas is a freaking broken faction with our reliance. It is insane what kind of cards you can get and kind of strategies you can pull with the new ways you can use Aquas. And look at that Hydra's boy. Helix and Green Fist. 400B plus 500 if on a Helix and 5 damage. That's 900B. 9 damage, plus helix. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there was a helix that can get you up to 600B plus, I think? Like, plus 600B? I, I could be wrong. I think it's either 500 or 600 plus B. But if you get that, that's already 1-5. One 1,500B five. 1, from a helix alone with this card stats, which is insane. And if you could get that that one helix, because I think it's, it's plus 600 minus 3 or something. I can't really remember. I don't use helixes that much, and I should uh, with this new card uh, in my hand here. You don't even have to worry about that minus damage because of its high damage number when you land on helix going all the way up to 9. So this thing, broken. It, it's, it's a really, really good card. I think personally. The only thing holding it back is that Green Fist. I will still use this in a deck just because of its high B stat. I just wish it wasn't a Green Fist. I mean, if it was a Red Fist, that would be a lot better. If it were uh, an Orange Shield, that would be more like its old form, which would be better. Um, but if it was another Helix, this thing would be absolutely insane. <laughs> like, seriously insane. If it were double Helix. But as it is, it's already broken. So I'm not going to talk about this anymore and just move on to what's in the rest of the box. So, besides Bakugan, we get two cores. We get a Green Shield and Helix, of course. Green Shield plus two. Helix is plus one Frost Strike. Poopy cores! Poopy, 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 go away. Bakugan. Um, there we go. First, Aquas Armor Alliance Bakugan, and I love its bits. You know, it's kind of like a joke how 
everyone has at least one core Hydrus from Battle uh, Battle Brawlers. Everyone is going to want this core Hydrus. And I mean everyone. Well, I mean, if you play competitive, you will. Um, if you play the toy battling game, you'll want this. Okay, now for my final verdict on the product. Go buy this product. I can't stress this enough. You want to play competitive, you want a good Bakugan, whether you're playing toy battling or TCG, this is the one to go for. Just with the kind of insane power this thing can reach out the gate. Granted, if you land on Helix, but if you practice, you are going to be landing on Helix's left, right, and center. Sorry about the camera shaking and the noise. But I hopefully, hopefully you guys understand what I mean here. I mean, if you can build a Helix deck or just have, you know, more than one Helix at least, and you can practice rolling on one core in a particular distance, this thing will be a lifesaver. And I can tell you now, with practice, it'll work. I mean, the guy that I brawled with who used this was able to land on the Helix pretty much almost every single time. And that's scary. So, uh, I don't know if I can say their name, like, in this video, but I'll ask and I can maybe enlighten you guys on that story at a later date when I say their name, only after I've asked them. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching again. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, it's greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you're new to see more videos and help me reach 100 subscribers because at 100 subscribers I am going to be doing a massive video showcase where I show all my Bakugan. That's from Battle Planet, I mean Battle Brothers, New Destroyer, Cadet Invaders, uh, Battle Planet, uh, Armor Alliance, anything Bakugan related that I have I'm going to be showing you. So again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.